The healthcare detective Frank Lally has written a book for Simon & Schuster about how to get affordable health care. Called Your Best Healthcare Now. It's available online, in-store, wherever fine books are sold. Mr. Lally is also the health correspondent for Parade, the former editor of Money and George Magazines, the senior advisor to healthcare.com. Yeah, he's busy. He joins us when he can, and we have a very, shall we say, familiar topic today? Mm, yeah, this is something we discuss at this time of year, uh, every year. Um, it's time for, for you to make a uh, Medicare decision. Um, and you have until December 7th to do it and not December 8th. You've got to do it before December 7th. Otherwise, you'd miss this opportunity to switch, get a better plan, save some money. So I've got a question for you, Jill. How would you like to save 100 bucks a month? You know, absolutely. <laughs> well, Can it be done? I, I, I just did it uh, with a little shopping. Uh, for a better Medicare plans. And, you know, I'll tell you exactly how I did it. I'll give you a phone number uh, for our listeners to call because I used independent brokers that I trust uh, who helped me and walked me through it. Uh, so I'll give you that number. I'll explain exactly what I did and give you that number uh, at the end after we uh, work through this. So December 7th, that's the magic date. You know, he- here's the here's the thing about this, and it depresses me every year. It Something like 80% of the people with Medicare plans, either a Medicare, uh, original Medicare that's run by the government, or Medicare Advantage, which you purchase from private uh, for-profit insurers, look, 80% of the people with Medicare or Medicare beneficiaries don't devote any time at all to um, to shopping. Uh, that's uh, that's a shame because 80% of the people who who do it end up saving money and getting better plans. I mean, often saving money, like I just did, but certainly getting a better plan. Uh, and it, it, so that's a shame. So so, fa- so, listeners, here we go. Um, Jill, you've mentioned this in the past. This is a time of year to be really careful when you see those helpful TV ads for Medicare or Medicare Advantage or Medigap that end with, just call this number. Right, and, and I just... I'm interjecting simply because there's a new thing now, uh, which mm-hmm. is get what you're you, – because of the pandemic, get what you're entitled to. Get get what yes. you – and that's the bit that I'm always um, – I mean, I'm, I'd love to get what I'm entitled to, but is, is it – I just – not entirely confident that the information that they're getting about – the information they're saying that you're entitled to and what you actually get for it is the same. Oh, you, you know, yeah, you're entitled to buy my plan. Right. That's what they're saying, because if you call that number, just call that number, you get connected to a health insurance salesman. That's who you get. And that salesman or saleswoman is peddling that company's uh, product. OK, that's a, that you're down to one company peddling their product. Um, so do you, and the same thing when you go online, be careful. Go online, you put in any of these Medicare words uh, in, in your search bar. And up pops a whole bunch of opportunities for you, right? They all say ad. The first six or seven, ad. Be careful. That's that's a, just one company advertising their product. Maybe a good product, but not exactly what the best product for you. So, uh, look, Medicare Advantage has an advantage, and 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 so make no mistake about this. There's no, there really is no surprise that nearly 40% of uh, Medicare beneficiaries now are picking these Advantage plans. Sounds good, right? Advantage plan. Um, And they look awfully good. Uh, They're all in one. Saves you a lot of time shopping. It's very convenient. You get your medical. You get your dental. You get your drugs. um, You can get get vision. uh, You you can even get hearing aids, even though they're not really hearing aids. They're just amplifiers. But anyway, you get it all for one premium. Uh, plus, you get some extras. You get gym memberships. You get 24-hour nurse uh, consulting uh, phone number, which actually is a, is a nice perk uh, for a lot of people. Adult daycare in some instances. Meals delivered to you. Uh, plus, transportation to go shopping, go to your doctors. Um, even pest control and air conditioning uh, for people with allergies and asthma in some cases. And to top it off, the average premium this year, Jill, is twenty-one dollars a month. That's down eleven percent 
from last year. So 2021, it'll be 21 dollars. That's all. And and wait, as yes, they say on TV. And wait, there's more. 56 percent choose Advantage plans with zero premiums. Zero. And your out-of-pocket costs are capped at around $7,000 if you stay in-network in the company's uh, plans network or $10,000 if you go out. Now, Original Medicare, i got to tell you, has no cap. That's really a, a, a drawback for Original Medicare. There is no cap. I once talked to a Medicare advisor on the phone, you know, and you call 1-800-MEDICARE. Um, and I said, hey, what's the cap? He started laughing. He said, hey, you, you could end up owing a million dollars. You'd still no cap. Ha, 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 ha. I don't know why you, hell, he was laughing, but he was. So, Joe, what could possibly go wrong with a Medicare Advantage like that? All in one, zero premiums. What, all those extras, what do you think could go wrong? Uh, that you don't really get what you're paying for? Uh, in some cases that could be true, but the bigger one is you could get sick. <laughs> now, now if you get sick, you're going to run into, as you say, all kinds of barriers to getting your care, not what you think you were going to get. So, and the sicker you get, and these studies back this up, the sicker you get, the worse a Medicare Advantage plan is for you. So when you need your health insurance the most, that's when an Advantage plan helps you the least. Now, your big companies right behind these Advantage plans are all in for the money. Uh, obviously, they're for-profit corporations, United Healthcare, Humana, Anthem, Cigna. They all blend together in my mind. They're all aiming to make $1,500 per member per month. Let that one sink in. $1,500 per member per month in profits. And they make profits or close to that by collecting $11,000 in taxpayer subsidies for each member each year. That adds up $250 billion in what I think is corporate welfare. That's a good phrase for it. They also make the profits by skimping on your health care. Almost 70% of Advantage plans are actually HMOs, you know, health maintenance organizations with really tight provider networks. That's all you're really getting. You're getting an HMO in, in the overwhelming majority of the cases. So, look, all in all, Advantage plans cut back on doctor and hospital networks. That's the thing you've got you've to gotta appreciate that. For example, they could cut back to around 10% of the doctors in your county, just the one county you live in. Good chance there will be no cancer center for you if, if you unfortunately need that kind of care. If you travel, you could just have to bet that you're on your own, except if you have an emergency or really urgent care, then they're supposedly they pay. But even in emergencies, they fight. They've got a real reputation for not writing you a check uh, very easily. There was a, a, a real case of, of a woman who had – she went down to Florida. She got a brain tumor. She fell and broke her hip, ran up $10,000 in bill, more than $10,000 in bills. And the, the advantage plan she had said, uh-uh, that was not emergency. That's not even urgent. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> that one ended up in the courts yeah. and, the company, and the company paid a lot of money. But there's the mindset. But, uh, but but also, how long does it take? I, I mean, oh, yeah, you know, sure. it, it, it plus it was it's dragged on, absolutely, and she it's so to to stressful. That that that, that, oh, that that's what? the other thing, you know, the 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 bait and switch basically is, hey, this is going to be a total relief, and it's going to be easy. It, not not easy, but you're not going to have to worry about a thing, and then you get all desensitized to worrying about a thing and then the first thing you need it's almost it's, it's almost like a warranty so it's just how do you it's it's tricky how do you how do you know well, what the right know. questions are yeah well you, i mean you got you got to understand the fine print here you know we're your friends we're going to help you out well no not exactly um you know for example just landing in the hospital how, no matter how you land in the hospital many of these advanced plans Limit the amount of money they pay during your first week when you're in there. So you think you've got hospital coverage. Well, you do, 
But the amount of money that the company chips in for each day is not what your bill is, and you're stuck with the rest. Plus, you need referrals to see a specialist. You, there was pre-authorization for treatment and, and care, uh, and they're not easy to get. It's not automatic at all. Um, you could face step therapy. You, you know how that one works, right? Uh, your doctor says you need, you know, something. Let's say it's let's say it's expensive and new and 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 largely effective, but your insurance company says no, no, no. You uh, this advantage plan? No, no, no. You, this we use step therapy here. You start with the cheapest treatment or the cheapest drug. Let's see how you do on that, and then we'll work our way up. So until you get sick enough, in many cases, you don't get what your doctor wanted you to have in the first place. That's 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 a, that's an ordeal. Uh, so look, bottom line, here's the thing to keep in mind. Once you sign up for an, a Medicare Advantage plan, Medicare Advantage employees control your care. You've got to go to them to get anything special from them. And they may say no. So, I mean, what do you, what do you think of that, Jill? Is that is that a way to think about this? They're in charge. I'm never comfortable with that, but whatever you say. Well, it's the way it is, I think. Yeah. But look, make no mistake. Make no mistake about this. Advantage plans are in charge. Um, they turn down one referral request out of every twenty. Nearly 10% of requests for reimbursements, right? You, see, you go to your doctor, you think you're covered, you write the check for them, uh, and then it turns out they say, no, 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 you're not covered. Uh, and, and that's happening 10% of the time. And good luck. You can appeal, but good luck. <laughs> good luck. I mean, these companies turn down 75% of the appeals that they get. So let's switch over to Original Medicare, okay? Original Medicare, you're in charge. Okay, you don't need referrals, no pre-authorizations, no step therapies. Uh, you don't have to worry about traveling. As a matter of fact, there being 90 percent of doctors, 75 percent of specialists. Virtually every hospital in this country accepts Medicare. Forget what you heard. Nobody takes Medicare. It's not true. Virtually every doctor does. So you pick up the phone. I've done it. If you pick up the phone. You can see any provider you want anywhere in the country. Medicare will pay. And that's especially important for people like me, you know, and and many others, uh, 110 million of us have pre-existing conditions. But you're in charge, but Medicare Advantage is far from free. So depending on how long you paid Medicare taxes, uh, and that's part A premium to see doctors is going to cost you anywhere from $252 a month to $458 a month. Remember, Medicare Advantage is, you know, on paper, right? Uh, 21 bucks a month, and you're looking at $252 uh, just to see a doctor. Then if you go to a hospital, that's uh, Part B, uh, hospital coverage, there's a deductible of $1,452. And then, plus, uh, Medicare only pays roughly 80% of your bills. You know, all those ads you see with the pies, and it's 80%, 20% is stuck on you. That's all correct. And there's no cap, like I said, which is a big uh, drawback. Uh, So I think if you go with the original Medicare, for the reasons that you're in charge and you can pick your doctor and you can follow the best care for you. Uh, if you go with the original Medicare, you need, it's absolutely, I think, essential to have a Medigap policy to pick up that 20% that Medicare does not pay. Uh, and these Medigap plans, again, unfortunately, they Medigap, they are not cheap. Uh, but here's where I just saved 80 bucks a month, Jill. I switch from a, I use a generous Plan G Medigap, okay? I switched from United Healthcare at 286 bucks a month to Anthem at 204. Hey, I'm saving over 80 bucks a month right there. Then I also, of course, I had to add a Part D drug plan as well. I think you all should do that too. Uh, here I saved 200 bucks uh, for the entire year, and that was just when switching from WellCare to a Mutual of Omaha. With a with a twenty five a dollar premium only, um, and then I wasn't finished. I had to get the Cigna Dental Care. You you can see this <laughs> going with the original med with the original original Medicare means that you have to do some shopping. All these dental plans are roughly the same. There's very little competition. It's about fifty bucks a month. 
Um, I get uh, you get a couple a couple of teeth cleanings a year. You get eighty percent of your fillings covered uh, eighty at eighty percent. Uh, if you have something like a crown or some kind of dental uh, surgery, they're going to cover half that up to about $2,500. That's the best you're going to do. So y- you can see, you know, <laughs> picking original Medicare, then you've got to add other plans. And and that can certainly seem daunting if you're on your own comparing plans online. Look, you know, you know, <laughs> you, as you mentioned, every Every week, you know, I wrote this book <laughs> to na- how to navigate our lousy healthcare system, how to get your best healthcare. Now, I wrote the book, and I do not try to buy health insurance on my own. I don't think I am qualified to do that. I, but here, I turn to Via Benefits. So grab a pencil. I'm going to give you the telephone number in a minute. In my experience, Via Benefits, uh, the experts there are really honest brokers in every sense of that word, uh, and they're patient. They compare plans with you, plan after plan, until they find the right plan. You agree that's the one for you, and then you just sign up over the phone. They're independent. They don't work for one company. Just call this number. That's one salesman for one company. These guys are independent. Uh, They're not pushing any particular insurer. And in in the end, uh, they're paid by whatever insurance you you guys uh, decide together uh, to get. They're paid by them, so there's no uh, fee to you, and there's no fee to you no matter how many times you call them back. I've called three or four times just checking on other details, making sure the drug plan I picked had the drugs that I want in my formulary. Is that absolutely true? Yes, let me look it up for you. It's absolutely true. No charge. Anytime you can bother them like crazy like that, get all your questions answered. That so grab a pencil. Grab a pencil. Can I? we got to give them the number. you got to do it quick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Via Benefits phone number is call 844-222-2972. Let me repeat it, 844-222-2972. They're open, waiting for your call, Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Time. They can help you. They'll help you save money. They'll get a better plan and coverage uh, than the right plan and coverage for you. And a very likely save you a couple of bucks, too. Thank you, Frank, because we couldn't do it without you. Thank you, Frank, the healthcare detective and senior advisor to healthcare.com. Send your questions or concerns about finding affordable health care to healthcaredetective at robinhoodradio.com. Frank will try to address as many of your questions as he can on future broadcasts. Also, look for his book, Your Best Healthcare Now, available online in stores on my desk. <laughs> 